Good morning students I hope you all are well so today we will read chapter number 6 in english grammar and what's the chapter name is the chapter name is possession p o l s e l s i o n possession what is the meaning of possession do you know about that okay so we will learn about position in today's session okay but before begin to our topic first we will read following sentences so here are written two sentences first we will read these sentences okay this is p who's doll this is p who's doll okay and this is rahul's bicycle this is rahul's bicycle so what is the meaning of this sentence okay the first one is the doll belongs to pihu the doll belongs to pihu and in the second the bicycle belongs to rahul okay it means what you have observed in these two sentences आपने इन टू सेंटेंसेस ने क्या ऑब्जर्व किया आई टोल्ड दिस इज पीहूज डॉल इट मीन्स किसकी डॉल है पीहू की डॉल है एंड दिस इज राहुल्स बायसिकल किसकी बायसिकल है राहुल की बायसिकल है इट मीन्स द डॉल बिलोंग्स टू पीहू द डॉल बिलोंग्स टू पीहू एंड द बाइसिकल belongs to rahul okay same here this is my pen this is my pen okay it means the pen belongs to me it means the pen belongs to me so what is the meaning of possession possession it means something who belongs to someone it means something who belongs to someone koi bhi thing koi bhi thing pen bicycle basket doll etc etc koi bhi thing jo hai wo kiski hai okay koi bhi thing hai jo wo kiski hai it means some things you have or own uska malik kon hai kisi bhi things ka malik kon hai kiski hai wo cheez okay so it means possession when we shows possession when we want to shows something belongs to someone then we write down apostrophe s that is called apostrophe that is called apostrophe and s so when we want to show something belongs to someone it means when we want to show position then we write down apostrophe s with the word which is given okay so let me see what is position now we use apostrophe s when we want to show that something belongs to someone that i told to you कि कोई भी चीज किसकी है जब हमें उसे शो करना होता है जब हम उसे बताना चाहते हैं देन वी राइट डाउन अपेस्ट्रॉफ एस अपेस्ट्रॉफ एस ओके इफ अ प्लूरल नाउन एंड्स इन एस वी एट ओनली अपेस्ट्रॉफ आफ्टर एस ओके वंस अगेन If a plural noun ends in s, we add only apostrophe after s. You know about plural nouns. In earlier classes, we have also uh, read about singular nouns and plural nouns. 
so like as uh, doctors teachers students boys girls children these all are plural nouns okay so when the plural noun ends with s and when we want to shows position then we add only apostrophe after s then we add only apostrophe after s in plural noun okay listen carefully let me see some examples like is doctors doctors colony okay students look here doctors here doctors is in plural form doctors is in plural form so we add only apostrophe after s okay we will not write down again here apostrophe s because this is in plural form okay so when the noun is in plural form then and we want to show its position then we add only apostrophe after s apostrophe after s doctors colony teachers day teachers day okay now second rule what is the second rule if if a plural does not end in s if a plural does not end in s then we add apostrophe s if a plural noun ends in s if a plural noun ends in s then we add only apostrophe to show its position but when if a plural noun does not ends in s then we add apostrophe s plural noun like as men 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 is plural form of man women women is plural form of woman children children is plural form of child okay so here is s coming yahan pe s aa raha hai no so when the plural noun does not ends in s then we add apostrophe s for example means shirt means shirt okay means shirt now we can take some other example like is children's toy women's jewelry look here children's toy okay so look here students main main is in plural form and children is in also plural form but after plural form here is not s okay so if a plural noun does not ends with s then we add apostrophe and s apostrophe and s means shirt children's toy i hope you must have understood again we will repeat our topic we use apostrophe as when we want to show that something belongs to someone so when we want to show something belongs to someone then we add apostrophe as that is called position position it means something you have or on okay now next the apostrophe and the letter s is added with the main word position 
हाउ वी सो पोजिशन हम पोजिशन कैसे सो करते हैं आफ्टर द मेन वर्ड वी एड एपेस्ट्रॉफ एंड एस ओके लुक हेयर आफ्टर द मेन वर्ड वी एड एपेस्ट्रॉफ एंड एस ओके ना नेक्स्ट If a plural noun ends in s, we add only apostrophe after s. If a plural noun ends in s, then we don't add again s. Only we add apostrophe after s. जब plural noun s से end होते हैं तब हम position show करने के लिए again s add नहीं करते Only after s we add apostrophe. हम एस के बाद एपिस्ट्रॉफ लगाकर इसके पोजिशन शो करते हैं लुक हियर डॉक्टर्स डॉक्टर्स इज इन प्लूरल फॉर्म एंड वी वॉन्ट टू शो इट्स पोजिशन डॉक्टर्स कॉलोनी हुज कॉलोनी डॉक्टर्स कॉलोनी किसकी कॉलोनी है डॉक्टर्स की कॉलोनी है सो वी एड डॉक्टर्स एंड आफ्टर एस वी एड एपिस्ट्रॉफ आफ्टर एस वी एड ओनली एपिस्ट्रॉफ टू शोज position okay now next if a plural noun does not ends in s then we add apostrophe and s okay if a plural noun does not ends with s here plural noun ends with s okay ends with s here plural noun ends with s but plural noun does not ends with s then we add apostrophe s to shows its position like is men's shirt so men is in plural form children's toy children is in plural form okay i hope you must have understood this topic goodbye have a nice day